Yep, W YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar, once again coming at you with another vlog. On today's vlog, I'm talking G6 Fayou Tech Gimbal. If you've got the Fayou on app and you're wondering why it's not the same and you can't get your time lapse features to work, I'm in the same boat. This is driving me crazy, but I figured out how to get the time lapse to go. So without any further ado, let's Scooby Doo and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so welcome back guys. Um, I am talking about the G6 Fayutech gimbal. Um, the app that comes with the gimbal is not the one you see other people playing with on the YouTube channels or even in fact the Fayutech website. Um, the one that I have and I'm sure some of the guys that I've heard commenting on other people's videos like where did you get that from? Why is mine not like yours? Well, I'm just going to show you the one that I've downloaded. I've, I've gone through this for the last two weeks. I've tried it on my Note 4, my Samsung Note 4. I've tried it on my wife's Note 9. I've tried it on my iPhone 10. I've tried it on my iPod. Doesn't work. The same app keeps appearing. Um, I'll show you the app that I'm talking about. This is the one here. So it's pretty much, well, let me just open it properly. So that's the one there, Fayou On. Now you'll see when I fire it up, that's what you're going to get when you fire it up. Now you get the, you got different gimbals to choose from, but that's the one there, G6. So once I hit the connect, You will see now it's trying to connect. Uh, let me turn the let's turn the gimbal on to start off with. That might help. Okay, so the gimbal's on. Let's just hit the. Okay, so you can see it showed up there. Let's select that, and it takes you to this screen. That's it. It's not nothing like the one you see on their website or like the ones you see on other youtube videos this one's completely different it's just a white screen it's got your three modes your tra tracking modes underneath and this is the this is pretty much the the gimbal controller so you can turn left turn right you can go down and you can go up so that's pretty much all you can do with this app but if you want to do your time lapse I'm going to show you how to achieve that so on the top right hand corner you've got these three little bars up here so you have got to click on that and you've got your parameters motor strength scene joystick horizontal calibration auto rotation mode and restore default settings what you want to do is you go into your, um, or is it your auto rotation mode. Now in this mode, you select the speed at which you want your panning to occur and your tilting speed. So once you've selected that, go ahead and save that, and that's going to be the rate at which your gimbal moves from one side to the other and tilts. So once you've done that, you can pretty much exit out of that, close that, takes you back to this page. Now, this is the tricky part. You're thinking, where do I start? How do I do this? It's got nothing to do with the app anymore. What you need to do is you go to your gimbal and you need to... This button here, the mode button. That's the one you're going to be working with. And I'm going to show you how to start and how we get this time lapse to occur so once your GoPro is on what you need to do is you click the mode button four times and you're going to hear a beep there's the beep one beep now you've got to manually configure this 
turn it to where you want it so if you want like a 180 degree and you want it to rotate all the way across and maybe a bit of a, a bit of a pan up you start there push the button once then you put, turn it around to where you want it to end maybe give it a bit of a forward tilt start your GoPro on your time-lapse mode now when you click the button for the final time it's going to go back to where you set the first position and your time lapse will begin so there you have it it's gone back to the first setting that I manually adjusted with my hand and it's going to slowly rotate all the way across while panning up and finish at the finishing position that you set just previously once you're finished you can either push the mode button twice or the front button twice and it'll just cancel it and it'll just go back to its normal gimbal functions I'll just show you uh, push the front button twice and it just resets it goes back to its normal function so there you go that's that's the app I'm so disappointed I thought it was just going to be an easy set here set there go up there and push the button and go but it's not like that I don't know why Fayu Tech changed this um, according to the videos it looked like a, a beautiful app it looked like it would have been an easy app to operate but they've complicated things by just taking away those features really have no idea it took me you know two three weeks to figure this out I'm watching all these videos no one's got the same app that I have and I've noticed the comments from a lot of people they're all asking the same thing where did you get that app from why is mine not the same I contacted Fayutech and they just kept referring me to a link that takes me to a, a page where it's got the link and when you download that link it gives you this app now yeah there's nothing else you can do apart from following my instructions when you want to do a time-lapse mode if you have any questions feel free to ask I'm here to help if I can all I can say is to fail tech epic fail what were you thinking it looks so effortless it looks so easy with the prior app why, why have you removed these features on the actual app the mind boggles honestly sometimes so thanks for watching guys um, as I said just a quick one I hope this helps you um, yeah till next time peace